Hey guys, good morning. It's Wendy here. I know it has been such a long time that I haven't come here and update you guys. But today I woke up really early, so early that it's still dark outside and I go some time. So let's get into it. If it's your first time, I'm Wendela. This is my baby Amor. She's no longer a baby anymore. She's growing up so quickly. She's like a year and four months. And we are so happy and grateful to be here with you today. We woke up early because we have a doctor appointment and the rest of the family is still asleep. Jama is asleep and Trinity is asleep. And I have a few minutes. So I thought before I, you know, finish to get ready for my doctor yeah. appointment and before I wake them up, I'm going to just come here and give you guys a quick pregnancy update. I haven't updated you in so long. It's been like, six weeks i'm sorry it was a hectic time in my life and i needed to take time off to prioritize life balance and you know just focus on myself and my health and my pregnancy and guys the belly have grown you can't imagine how much i'm like i look like i'm just going to give birth next week or something but actually i'm just 30 weeks pregnant 30 weeks and a few days almost, almost 31 weeks Hello, baby. And everything has been very intense. Not just emotions and cravings and family and well-balanced motherhood and, you know, everything else. I have been changing. My body has been changing and I'm just going to take this time. Now the baby is a bit fussy and put her down to show you the belly. The belly. This is it. Oh my God, can you look at this? Like, look is is just crazy yeah. it's like it's so big it's growing so much and the belly is heavy and the baby is moving a lot a lot more than it was before i can feel the movement i can see them as well everybody can see them so everybody is excited in the house especially trinity who is looking forward the baby to come trinity is literally like saying when is the baby gonna be here when is the baby gonna come out she is like so excited. Sorry guys, I need to give something to my mom to entertain herself. So I'm gonna give her this. You wanna be with mommy or no? You wanna be here with mommy? You wanna play? Let's be here with mommy. So everybody's super excited. More Trinity and Amor and Jamai, who is with is here every day and they can see the baby moving, they can touch it, they can, you know, just feel it, talk to her because obviously it's a girl. For you that have been following up with the updates, if you don't know, you already know. They all very excited. I'm excited as well. Going to giving an honest update, what has been happening? A lot of things, guys, have been happening. First of all, we had visits in the house. Oh my gosh, Trinity started school. And this is a huge update that I have to do a video on its own, but she started school and we took her away to of school like almost in the same week because she didn't adapt very well. She didn't like it. We thought about it with so other options. So now we are homing and schooling her. This is one of the reasons why I haven't been able to come here as much. And I decided to like focus on decide what are we going to do in this new routine? Focus on her education. And I'm her teacher now, so I'm teaching her so many things. The ABC in Spanish and English, color shapes, drawing, painting, mathematics, and everything else. We're also going to sign her up for activities so she can get the social part of life. We also have trying to take her to the park and getting out in nature every day. We're doing a family garden as a science project and we're doing a lot of different things and she's not going to school. So I'm the one who teach her and Jamai as well, of course, but mainly me because Jamai is also working. So I have the most time. So that was a crazy one. I'm not going to lie to you. The week when she started school, many things happened in our family and it break down all our routine and our habits. So we had to restructure 
and do everything again from zero ah. and obviously having two babies one toddler and one one year old and homeschooling them both and you know it's so much time she's saying hi say hi ah. hi <laughs> it's a lot but with the pregnancy let's focus on the pregnancy today everything has been going amazing the baby have been growing so much say hi 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 Baby has been doing so much, and yes, some things are uncomfortable. Are you okay? Can you give me a hug? You want a hug? You want to go back to sleep? No? Um, okay. The, she has a character, and don't mess with her because this one is the boss in the house at the moment. <laughs> So yeah, baby have been growing well. Um, I have missed uh, one or two doctor appointments and I had to reschedule. Also because of the homeschooling, everything has been so hectic that I left everything on the side just to focus on Trinity's education. But I recovered the appointment, so I went with the midwife. I went to do a scanner. The scanner shows the baby uh, absolutely healthy. She is about one kilo and a half and she is moving she is developing quite well i could hear her heart beating and see the scanner as well and how she's moving apologies about the noise in the background but yeah the doctor's appointments all good then i had appointments with the midwife as well she is great but obviously she was a bit worried like why you didn't pick up your phone and the reason why my phone has been broken for so long that's all the reason why i couldn't post as much because with our phone and with our camera i was recording i have footage there like i was able to edit so all the content i had planned is done oh well it's just old i don't know when i'm going to be able to recover my phone so i had to explain that to her reschedule so in my midwife appointment everything was all right I measured my tension all right I touching the belly all right the growth amazing but when i weighed myself and she compared what i was waiting at the beginning with now she's like oui you gained too much weight like too much weight and i'm like how? Well, it's because I'm eating well, obviously. I have a lot of cravings, like I eat so much sweet. We have been doing pancakes almost every day, cakes, cupcakes. We have been baking, which is one of the lessons for Trinity School as well. Baking, cooking, and sometimes I'm not even hungry and I'm eating, and I know that's not good. And well, that's one of the reasons why I gained so much weight. I gained like 13 kilos from the beginning of the pregnancy until now. I'm waiting 83 kilos now, guys. And it's not a joke. I gain weight. And it's also because I'm quite sedentary. I'm not practicing as much sports as I used to. And I'm not like going on so outgoing because I'm so big. And, you know, I need to renew my cupboard still. I didn't go in new outfits and I'm like, I can't just be walking around with three pregnancy colloids when I'm actually so pregnant, you know? So I'm staying home and not moving much, but I'm, I decided to change that because I'm like, I can't you know, keep gaining weight and I have to just, you know, keep my mouth a little shut in the sense of not no eating so much sweets and, and things like that until the baby keeps growing. So. What I'm doing this week is basically smoothies like mango, pineapple, apple, other kind of fruits. Let me see if I find uh, another setting for him because Amor is playing with my lights. She's, she's, she's just making a mess here, but anyway, let's ignore that. <laughs> let's just put you here, guys, again. And, and I am planning to obviously get back in movement again. So doing light yoga and walking and just going for walks with the family or alone. But I have something in my mind, like since I became pregnant and I had kids, it's like I can't leave them. I don't know, it's something obsessive. Like I don't feel comfortable leaving the kids and going out alone or, you know, just living for a long time. So I'm doing things with them, guys. I don't know if this happened to any of you new moms, moms where you just feel like you can't leave them for some reason. Like it's like we attached. I need to get back to activity as soon as possible. And I'm doing that slowly, slowly. A lot of things have been happening. Jamai started a new business, Super Clean Chelsea, where he's working with cleaners and 
getting clean and work and stuff. We have been working on the new channel that we have, traveling the world with my girls, which is from his perspective, obviously. I broke my phone and the phone has been repairing for so long. So we used the footage that we had in his phone and created that channel many other things like keep updated with all that is happening in the house the bills the everything was a chaos and very difficult to like come back up from a little step back that we had and obviously waiting for the crypto bull market and holding as there's no tomorrow trying to get new crypto in because guys bull market is here and is coming anytime so we are very excited for just waiting for that time holding our coins believing a lot in Richard Hart's project and just like studying a little bit of trading, finance and building up that new routine. We get the kids involved a little bit as well because it's finance, it's decentralized finance and we're trying to teach them about all of these things, money, finance, etc. So I think with all of that, I didn't have time to record and I want to come back 100% and I don't wanna be here like worried or anything. I wanna have things under, under control before I do any type of video. Everything is personal. So we trying to manage our family with our lifestyle and the vision we have and planning our vision, life future, and what we're going to do in the near future and everything that we manifesting and bringing to our reality. I'm trying to put everything on place before I come and share with you guys what is actually happening. Also, Amor is growing and she is more active. She needs more time, more patience. And I have to be here 100% for my kids and I can't leave them. I don't want to put them too much in camera neither because we know there's so much stuff going on right now in general, in the world, in the industry, etc. And we want to raise our kids godly. So one thing that we are doing is actually great. We are reading the Bible for them from the beginning. Jamai bought three new Bibles in English and we are reading them Ma. for the kids every day. Ma. Are you giving a kiss? What? <laughs> She's giving you a kiss. Wow. Give you a kiss. Mm -hmm. So we're reading Bible stories for them every day. And what does Ma. that mean? That means Ma. that we're doing. We have to set a time. Um, for that, no? So we dedicate a couple of hours at night, so it's part of the nighttime routine, and we also read aloud for them every day. But the Bibles, we are reading them aloud. Yes, you like the Bible, right? It's amazing, and we are doing so great because we have the same book. All right, baby. Mwah and we're reading them together. So Jama is reading a chapter, I'm reading a chapter, and we do that until the kids fall asleep. So we started Genesis, the first book. We went to Exodus. We uh, I already finished Exodus. I start the next book. Jamai is, uh, you know, he joins when he can, and he's doing amazing as well, but I, I'm doing the reading, the listening, the practicing, the praying, the trying to be on point with it and everything because guys, spirituality is real and you don't have more than look at the world and see everything that's happening. You know, have to keep these kids protected at all costs. So by praying over them and reading the Bible is, is a lesson that I think they need. I'm gonna say bye because I think you wanna go get to sleep. Come, 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 come. You want some milk? No milk? You want a book? Uh, apple. Apple. <laughs> Just teaching every day. Apple and B for ball. Ball, yeah, ball. Doggy. Doggy playing the ball. Anyway, guys, that's another whole conversation that we can have because, as you guys know, Jamai was in the music industry as well. And, you know, it's just like I'm mad. everything that's going on in general. I'm very paranoid with like keeping the kids safe and no bachi, no pot bate, kahu y perrito. I have to reconnect with you. Thank you for being here so patient all this time. Thank you so much 
to all the new subscribers that have been joining the family even though you guys haven't had news about me for so long i want to wrap this video quickly because i'm going to have to go wake up the guys to go to the doctors soon it's an early appointment today i'm going to do like an insulin appointment i have to get there one hour early to have a shot of a drink that has sugar on it and after yeah this is what be happening with all the books she just breaks them anyway um i need to be there, be there one hour early and take this medicine and then they will do blood test on me i have to bring my first urine which i already did oh my gosh guys this is why it's impossible to film as well because there's always so much noise in the house and when Clint is awake, still way more noise and it's like I don't get 10 minutes break since I've been homeschooling her. I don't really get, get nothing of break and it's like I constantly go, 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 go. If it's not teaching, it's creative time or painting or, you know, blocks or playing with the hands or going outside or being in the garden outdoors or it's like a lot. I need to go get ready, finish to get ready for this doctor appointment, wake them up, they get ready and we go. And there are things coming up that I'm going to be posting like uh, what I'm doing for the nursery, how we are going to get the new stuff of the baby, new clothes, everything. Mm -hmm. I want to go shopping for the kids as well because they also need new clothes. I need to go shopping for myself and maybe do a clothing haul because I definitely need new clothes. So we are sacrificing as well because we'd rather be low on cash and rich on crypto right now even though the crypto is not worth much because we know this year crypto is going to pump listen to me if you don't want to listen to me no financial advice or whatsoever but guys get into crypto asap DeFi and blockchain technology and look at rich heart projects and i will always share shut him up because he definitely changed our lives it was some illusion for life and we hold a lot of his coins so we just want to wait for that and be rich on like poor chain projects and hex even though cash can be a bit low sometimes and it doesn't matter because the most important thing is here is your mindset and the legal gratification will be waiting for this bull run like four years almost and it's about to be here so we can't wait for see how our life changes and ups and down goes completely crazy for us and for our kids and you know for our extended family as well we are so happy and grateful i'm also so happy and grateful for my mom who comes around sometimes and give me a hand with the kids even though if he's just playing with them and give me sometimes to do housekeeping also to jamai's mom because she came here she was traveling here she loves it here in asturias and she was with us for about two weeks and that was a great time. Everything we did at that time, I didn't film much, but I also might be just put a few videos up. I will come back doing vlogs, but I don't re really know exactly when because I just don't have a camera to do it with. I'm filming with my business phone, which is the phone I'm using right now, but obviously he uses it for business, so it's not like it's available the 24 hours of the day. And it's also like filming with a phone, you have to be careful with the memory the storage and all of that which gets full up so quickly and it's like have to be deleting things and it's a madness anyway upcoming content is coming and is going to come quickly uh, because guys i have to get back to work i'm not going to lie um, i had a vision for this channel i had a vision for my content creator life and i just couldn't complete it yet i'm on the way and i had to take so many breaks and you know but we have to keep motivated and i'm here to motivate you as well so whatever is your situation if you're also pregnant i know my best friend bea is also pregnant well now the light finish and more is just making a mess here all right but I'm going to wrap up the video. So congratulations to Bea. She's going to have her baby soon as well. I'm so excited. She's having boys. I'm having girls. It's like the universe agreed with that for some reason. We used to be flatmates. Both of us 
with no kids and now we both like have kids already and we all we pregnant at the same time so i hope her journey is going amazing as well and if you are also pregnant congratulations and i hope your journey is amazing so please share with me in the comments what's your symptoms how is your life going if it's been so hectic like my life if you're feeling this crash because it's an economic crash happening right now in the world if you're feeling it so much as i am feeling it how are you combining work life and motherhood homeschooling if you're homeschooling or if you just dropping your kids off to school and pick them up how are you combining all of that with also have an income is getting complicated guys and i'm telling you it's not easy for nobody really but especially for us if you're here taking care of a family raising children and being available for them 24 7 and also having to think about all these other life stuff and personal things etc complicated i have an achievement so big i published my first journal it's a gratitude journal something that manifestation journal it's just an empty book basically where you can write every day your perfect life this is how i go where i am right now journaling is something that i still do and i'm trying to do every day even though sometimes is we break the habit but i always come back to it when i remember how i started and where i started and where i am now and it's everything because i wrote down my life vision i did in first person like if it already happened all my goals everything so i'm also i'm always writing i want to be a writer and you know i was looking into publishing amazon for so long and i finally got to self-publish my first journal and it's for sale right now in amazon so i will link it down below and you guys can check it out i'm going to leave you right here because now is the time when my baby is calling me she is getting like really fast you know and i'm going to get on with my day so thank you so much for watching guys please like the video if you haven't liked it yet click the following button if you haven't done it yet it's right here it's free and you help me so much with like follow me on my journey so thank you guys thank you for being here thank you for your patience thank you for everything i hope you enjoyed this video and i can't wait to do a new one for you be more on point with the updates with the posting and everything and we're back on instagram as well so follow us there Wendela's fam same as is in the channel and also the new channel traveling the world with my girls Whatever's going on in your life, you can handle it. If I can handle all of this and still have a smile, you can handle anything. So please be sure to keep motivated, keep praying. Um, read the Bible. It's a great book. It's helping me out so much to like, change my mind and my mindset and to have a vision for my life, etc. Do something spiritual. If you don't read the Bible, maybe read A Course in Miracles or any other spiritual book that can keep you getting smarter. This knowledge has been here for thousands of years and when you realize that everything that can ever happen in your life is actually there and you have an instruction to how to act and how to communicate with God and be open to hear instructions of the universe and etc. You kind of like be more motivated and more happy with your life and anything that is going on in your life there is a solution for it no matter what's the stage where you are or what kind of problem you have you can always recover i believe in you i know you guys have to believe in yourselves as well but i believe in you and you can do it whatever you want whatever is your dream um you guys are part of my dream and that's why i have this channel and i'm so happy and grateful to connect with you no matter who you are where you come from where you're watching me from i am really excited for being here and creating these videos for you so i hope you enjoy it and keep it up with your life and comment down below i love to read your comments and i love to see what you guys are thinking so let me know and yeah thank you have a nice day i see you on the next video mm -hmm.